Welcome to the video lecture on even and odd signals. In this video, we'll consider an example and we'll try to find its even and odd part. So the given signal x of t looks something like this. So here, y-axis represents the amplitude and x-axis represents the time division. So I call this as t and y-axis as x of t. And the signal x of t looks something like this which is a triangular wave. So this is the time period 0, this is 1 and this is 2. For such a signal we need to find its even and odd part. And we already know that the even part can be represented as x e of t which is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket x of t plus x of minus t. So we we are already aware of this and the odd part of the signal x o of t which is equal to 1 by 2 into bracket x of t minus x of minus t and we already know that x of minus t is the mirror image of the signal x of t. So now the task is the first task is to draw the signal x of minus t which is the mirror image of x of t. So I call this signal as x of minus t. So if I have to draw the mirror image of the signal x of t and that signal looks something like this. So this will be the time period 0, this will be minus 1 and this will be minus 2. And I just forgot to write the amplitude of the signal x of t. Amplitude of the signal let that be 1 and here also it remains as 1. So now we are ready with the signals x of t and x of minus t. To get the even part I need to add them and divide by 2. And to get the odd part I need to subtract them and again divide by 2. So that will do that. Do, do it now. So I am just drawing again x axis and y axis. And now y axis I call it as x of t plus x of minus t. So that represents the addition of these two signals. So I can look here. Uh, first I'll check from the range minus 2 to minus, uh, minus 2 to 0. So in this range the signal is something like this. It's the triangular wave. And from minus 2 to uh, 0 x of t is 0. So we are adding these two things, 0 plus this signal, so that signal remains. So if I do that, I would get something like this. The shape of the signal remains same. And amplitude, it is 0 plus 1, it is 1. Now the task is to add the signals from the range 0 to 2. So this is the signal 0 to 2 and x of minus t is 0 for the range 0 to 2. If I add these two signals, I would get again a triangular shape. So that I need to indicate. And that would look something like this. So this will be time period 2, this will be 1 and again the amplitude is going to be 1. It stays at that level. So the next task is I have to divide by 2. So that is a simple task. So that doesn't alter the shape of the signal. It remains same but the only thing is the amplitude reduces to oh, half. So this is t and this will be the signal x e of t. So with little modifications I am going to draw that signal. This, as I already said the shape remains the same. But the only thing is amplitude reduces to half. So this is how it looks like. This is the time division minus 1, this is minus 2, this is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. So that is the even part of the signal. So next task is to draw the odd part of the signal. So for that first I need to subtract those the signals x of t and x of minus t. So I'll do that. So here I call the x axis as t and y axis as x of t minus x of 
minus t. So I need to subtract the signals. So we'll start from minus 2 to 0 again. Minus 2 to 0, the signal is 0. x of t is 0. And minus 2 to 0, the signal x of minus t is a triangular wave. So now 0 minus this signal. So it is the reflected version of that, sig that signal. So that I'll, I have to draw. So I'll just write down the time divisions. This is 0, this is 1 and this is 2. So 0 minus that triangular wave. So it is the reflected version of that signal. And with an amplitude minus 1. This is how the signal looks like. And for the range 0 to 2 now I need to check. For the range 0 to 2 this is the signal x of t. We already know that. And 0 to 2 x of minus t is 0. So 1 minus 0. This, the shape of x of t remains it. That retains here. And which looks something like this. And with an amplitude of 1. So this is the subtraction of two signals x of t and x of minus t. And the last task is I need to draw the final part that is odd part of the signal. So I have to divide the signal by 2. So that is what I am doing now. So again the shape of the signal is not going to change. It, it remains the same but only thing is the amplitude gets divided by 2. So this will be 1 by 2 and again this will be minus 1 by 2. And this will be the time divisions. I'm just drawing that. This is 1 and this is minus 2. So ultimately the odd part of the signal looks something like this.